Hello my lovelies, today we are doing something, oops, uh, why do I always do that? Today we're doing something a little bit different. And by that I mean, we're doing a makeup tutorial today. Suggested by my friend Chelsea. Hey babe, today we are going to be doing a Halloween deer makeup. Now she asked me to do this, and honestly I'm just gonna kind of roll with it. Like, I was never the makeup tutorial type. I mean, I love watching them, don't get me wrong, but I was never good at it. So today is the first episode of BS Makeup Tutorials with Grace. It's a working title. So first things first, I'm the realist. <laughs> just kidding. You've gotta look like a zombie. <laughs> My beautiful eyebrows. By the way guys, this is literally probably the worst way to take your makeup off. This is really harsh. Don't ever do this. I am just really impatient and really tired. And I'm only taking off my eye makeup because really that's the only thing that's gonna be changing. Oh god, this is disgusting. Oh yeah, don't I look fabulous? Oh my god, I look so gross. So next step, you should put on a primer. I'm not gonna do that because this is BS Makeup Tutorials with Grace and putting on a primer when I'm just gonna take it off is a load of BS. But if you're wearing this out for Halloween, you should put primer on. It's very wise, it'll help it stay longer. So the next step is to basically just even out your skin tone. You can do it any number of ways. Concealer, if you're one of those people that have perfect skin, I hate you. And he's got a new beauty blender, look how cute on me. <gasps> look how cute on me. Now, I've never used like a beauty blender, but everyone says you're supposed to wet it. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I got my damp beauty blender or whatever brand of BS is. I hate it when I have like nothing left. And I'm just going to cover where my redness is and ease it. I'm also doing this with like no mirror or anything. So this should be very interesting. So I've covered up the important things because this is pretty, this is all going to be drawn on so I wouldn't recommend putting tons of foundation on and spending time on it because you're just, you're covering it up. Next up, you're going to want a powder. All the foundation you just put on or concealer or anything that you put on cream or liquid wise, set it with either powder foundation, translucent powder, anything that is going to sink into the liquid and make it last longer, do that. Alrighty, cool. So now I'm going to actually pull up the picture she sent me because she had a very specific look that she wanted me to go for. You'll have probably seen it on Pinterest. This lady with the perfect jeans. So I'm going to start out with the lighter parts of the makeup. Typically, sorry guys, I'm having technical difficulties here. <laughs> Look at that. There is a light base pretty much all in this area and along the nose. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil or Eyeliner Eye Pencil. It's, it's a pencil in milk. I've used this for a long, long time, but I haven't, I haven't used it in a while, but I've known about it forever. I love the product. I just, I stopped using it and I don't know why. And I'm so glad that I got a new one today. So it looks like there's a lot on the nose area. So you're gonna wanna put that all along your nose bridge. This is fun. A slight triangle shape, if that makes any sense. So that way, your nose kind of looks a little bit more square. Aren't I beautiful? I'm gonna try and blend this a little bit with my sponge, because it looks very diffused. And you kind of want to like fade it into your forehead. And don't worry like if it gets in your eyebrows because we're gonna fix those in a bit. 
Like, you're basically just gonna blend white all over where you put a mask. And underneath your eyes, you're gonna wanna do like a triangle shape, say, yeah, huh, a triangle shaped section. So you can blend that underneath your eyeballs. And it's gonna also help cover any dark circles, making you that much more pretty. Because obviously, this is so attractive. Underneath your brow bone. And if you had some type of like really opaque cream paint, that would probably work a lot. Ah! That would probably work a lot better. This is going so well. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm so proud of myself. And the point of doing this is literally just blending. Because if there's any harsh lines, it's not going to look right. Okay! So the next thing you want to do is you want to set this. And setting anything that's a cream, again, is super, super important. So what you're going to want to set this with is a white eyeshadow. What I have today is NYX eyeshadow in Diamond Lust. Now if you wanted to go more natural, I guess, with this, you could just use their plain um, non-shimmery one, but I tend to use shimmers a little bit more. So that's why I got this one. It's super pretty. It's actually really pigmented. So I'm gonna try and put this on with my beauty blender so it's like baking my face. Alrighty, and now that you look like a complete lunatic, you're going to want to add the brown. So you're going to want to take a fluffy powder blush, a fluffy big brush. You're going to either want to take a really dark bronzer or a brown eyeshadow. Today I'm going to be using Whiskey from the Naked Smoking, Smoking? Naked Smoky palette from Urban Decay. And I'm gonna be putting it on my cheeks and around my forehead. It's probably more why I see something that's a little bit more brown, because this is turning out more black for some reason. Fine. Since that color was turning out way too dark and I can't find my contour palette, I'm gonna be using a mixture of these two eyeshadows from a Forever 21 palette. <laughs> Uh, but they're basically just kind of light browns, and it's nothing too, nothing too specific. You really want to pack on the collar, like on your cheeks, so it really stands out. If you ever blend a little bit too much, just take your take your beauty blender and just dab it a little bit with that white eyeshadow on it. So then you're gonna to want to put some more of that white eyeshadow right on the bridge of your nose, so it's really, really highlighted. Then, then you're gonna take your pencil again, and you're going to draw the and you're going to draw the dots that you see on here. Do one here. And you're gonna to want to put some on your forehead. Just like that. Look how cute I'm looking. Why did I look here? Huh? So next we're gonna fill in our eyebrows with a black eyeshadow. I'm using Black Market from the Naked Smoky palette. Just fill them in however you please, really. In the picture, they kind of look a little bit more straight, but I mean, that's completely up to you on how you want to draw them in. And 
And what you're gonna do is you're gonna slowly bring your eyebrow into like the bridge of your nose. With that black eyeshadow, just very light handed. Then with whatever just whatever's left on my brush, I'm just gonna drag it down my the side of my nose. I'm gonna dip it in again and then put it on the side of my hand to take a lot of the color off, just so it's not too harsh. Just like that. It looks like around the nose it's a little bit more prominent in color. So I'm gonna dip my brush in that black again and I'm just going to go over the lines closer to the, the end of the nose. And then it looks like her nose is all filled in on the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in kind of where I want it with the black eyeshadow first. And I'm going to take a liquid eyeliner. This is the one I always use. This is Jordana's Cat Eyeliner in Blackest Black. I love this stuff. It's probably my favorite eyeliner in the universe. And I'm just gonna go around the line that I created for the nose. So just like that. Uh, and now, my absolute favorite part. Eyeliner! So uh, on the top lid, what you're gonna do is you're gonna make a very big wing. Very big wing. Okay, do it on the other side. Now that your wings are long enough to fly, put on some mascara. Doesn't matter what kind it is. Just put it on so your eyelashes aren't white. And you could leave them looking like wings. Or, if your eyes are extremely uneven and hard to do like mine, you could cover your entire lid. And that's what I'm gonna do. So now you're going to do the bottom part. So basically what it is, it's an, an over-exaggerated outline of your natural eye, if that makes any sense. So I'll show you with the first one. So just like that. And if you want, you can draw like little tiny eyelashes so that way it makes it look like, I don't know, your eyes. And that's really pretty much it. That's all there is to it. The only thing I would add, which I don't have on me, is a pair of fake lashes. Like a nice, good, big pair of false lashes that would like bring it all together. Anyways guys, this is the finished look. I think it is very cute. And you could have some little antlers. You could have like some ears. Honestly, I think it's a really cute look, or you could even use it for like a fawn, but if you did it for a fawn, I would do a brown nose and a little bit lighter eyebrows. But I mean, besides that, I think it's a very cute look. I think it's adorable, honestly. All right, my lovelies, well that is it. Thank you again to Chelsea for suggesting this video. I know it probably wasn't as professional as it should have been, but still, it was really really fun. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my videos. Until next time, my lovelies. Bye!